Cat of Nine Tails is director Dario Argento's second full feature film and follow up to his 1970 major success giallo film The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. This 1971 murder mystery casts the excellent Carl Malden as a retired blind man who lives with his very young niece and he spends his time creating crossword puzzles. One early evening Malden's character Franco is out for a walk with his niece Laurie when he inadvertently overhears a perturbing conversation between two men sat in a parked car on the side road outside of his apartment complex. Franco's heightened sense of hearing picks out the discussion and he asks his niece Laurie to briefly turn around to see who was in the car. Together they are the eyes and ears witnesses to a crime that later unfolds and turns into a murderous affair that the two get drawn dangerously into the Cat and Nine Tails. Later that evening, the Terzi Genetics building, which is overlooked directly by Franco's apartment block, is broken into, but when the police investigate, nothing apparent seems to have been stolen. Soon after though, one of the biology and science research facility scientists is killed by an oncoming train. The man is one of the two that Franco's niece Laurie saw in the parked car. Initially, he is thought to have committed suicide. But when co-star of the piece, James Franciscus, newspaper reporter Carlo Giordani, digs deeper with the aid of one of his at-the-scene photographers, and also the aid of Carl Morden's characters, together they investigate. Their investigative nous is used, and as an ex-newspaper man himself, before he lost his sight, it is shockingly discovered that the scientist was pushed into the path of the oncoming train to meet his sudden and violent demise. After Giordani's photographer also meets with a bloody end, both he and Franco realise that someone is trying to cover up just what did occur that evening at the break-in at the Terzi Genetics Research Facility. Carl Morden and James Franciscus together make for a highly watchable team of makeshift detectives in this well-crafted story co-written by Dario Argento himself. Morden's performance particularly being memorable. His convincing role as the blind Franco. Child star actress Cinzia De Carlos is also very convincing and natural as Franco's niece Laurie as well. It is, of course, Argento's cleverly composed script and wonderfully crafted visual flair, deftly bringing the players of the piece together and interweaving their paths to cross with equal measure of murderous and red herring deployment that keeps things interesting and captivating throughout and holding the viewer's attention till the final cataclysmic finale. An unseen maniacal killer dispatching victims with a cord to strangle and a barbershop razor to slash is part of the early creative giallo genius from Dario Argento here. The movie is also wonderfully shot with a turn backdrop, Turin backdrop, framed by the film's full 2 3 5 to 1 widescreen ratio and everything looks perfectly palpable thanks to the Technicolor film stock used. Adorned by another memorable Ennio Morricone cacophony of musical accompaniment as well and the Cat of Nine Tails is a highly satisfying 7 out of 10 slice of 70s murder mystery giallo goodness not to miss out on. Look out too for a quirky cameo role as a criminal locksmith in the film from Ugo Fangaregi as the wonderfully named Gigi the Loser along with a very well lens nighttime graveyard scene where if you keep your eyes peeled you'll briefly spot a tombstone marked Dario 
as well. Very cool. Cat of Nine Tails. It's of course also the special features from Arrow that make this particular release very worth considering as a purchase. Audio commentary comes complete with this one, and an original ending with footage lost but pieced back together here in script detailing form. There's an exclusive 2017 interview with Dario Argento himself for Arrow Video, and the release of this film. New also is a 2017 interview with co-writer Dardano Sacchetti. Child Star exclusive 2017 interview with actress Cinzia De Carolis. And there's a Giallo in Turin special, an exclusive again, 2017 interview with production manager Angelo Icono. And there's also, of course, the expected and anticipated trailer reel that comes with this one as well. Special features, very worth watching. Definitely check those out when you come to the end of the film. And wholly satisfying all round. Just pushing this release from Aero Video up another notch to 7.5 out of 10 overall for the release on Blu-ray here. Arrow Video, once again, have delivered us up another welcome winner here. Replete, of course, with the Cat of Nine Tails music from Ennio Morricone. This one from 1971 release. Excellent stuff. Very, very much worth your time and consideration. Thank you, Arrow Video. Another good one, and another one from Dario Argento, the master of Giallo, and the form here of a cat of nine tails. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.